This time, didiscuss natin yung function sa pinakasimpleng paraan or sa paraan na madali mong maintindihan. Okay? Now, bago natin i-discuss kung what, what is a function, kailangan alam natin yung tinatawag na relation. Now, let's say for example, ikaw ay nagtatrabaho sa isang kumpanya. No? So, of course, uh, every time na nagtatrabaho ka, no, bawat oras nagtatrabaho mo, let's say for example, binabayaran ka dyan. No? So, the number of hours, then you will get a salary doon sa kung ilang oras kang nagtatrabaho. Now, itong salary, yung sahod mo, there is a connection doon sa number of hours. There is a relationship. Okay? So, that is a relation. Now, let's say, for example, sa bawat isang oras na pagtatrabaho mo, ikaw ay bibigyan o sasahura ng kumpanya na, let's say, uh, 100 pesos. Okay? Let's say you will get 100 pesos, for example, lang naman yan, no? Uh, then, of course, if you have two hours na ginugol mo doon sa kumpanya, sa pagtatrabaho sa kumpanya, you will get 200 pesos. And then, if you spend three hours sa pagtatrabaho, you will get 300 pesos. Okay? Now, ito, this is an example of ordered pair. This is another ordered pair, and this is another ordered pair. Okay? Kapag meron ka ng set of ordered pairs, meron ka ng set of ordered pairs, let's have set of ordered pairs, ordered pairs, that's actually the definition of relation. Relation. Now, sa ordered pair, meron tayong tinatawag na x value. The x value, that is the x coordinate, ito yon, Yan. And, yung atin namang y coordinate, ito yon, Okay? So, this is the x value, and this is the y value. Or, every time na meron kang input, meron kang output. Okay, so let's say for example dito sa pangalawang ordered pair, 2 is your input. So this is the value of x. Then you will get an output. No, ito naman yung value ng y. The same way the third ordered pair, 3 is your input and y is our output. So that represents a relation. Yung ating first coordinate, itong 1, 2, 3, ang tawag dyan ay domain. Let's write domain. Okay? So, ano yung ating mga elements ng first coordinate? That's 1, that's 2, and that's 3. Yung ating namang set ng second coordinate, so ang tawag naman dyan ay range. So, ano yung mga elements ng ating range? We have 100. So, we write, write 100, 200, and 300. Okay? So, ulitin ko, no? So, our domain, ito yung set of first coordinates, 1, 2, and 3. Then, the range is the set of the second coordinates, so 100, 200, and 300. A relation can be classified as function or not function. Okay? Pag sinabing function, bawat input, there is an exactly or it produces an exactly one output. So, let's say for example, this one. Yung ating input is 1, ang kanyang output is 100. Okay? Wala na siyang ibang output. Kung mapapansin dito, wala tayong 1 dito sa another ordered pairs. Wala. So, exactly 1 output lang per input. So, kung 2 yung input, our output is 300. Kung 3 yung input, our output is 300. Okay? So, walang naulit dito sa ating x value sa ating domain. So, therefore, kapag walang naulit dyan, no, that is considered as a function. So, 
this uh, set of ordered pairs is an example of function. Now, paano? Let's say, for example, no? let's say, for example, ay nadagdagan yung ating ordered pair itself, another one. Let's say, 3, then you will have 400. Hmm. This is your input 3, your output is 400. Yung ating domain may naulit dito sa domain natin. Then we add another uh, value sa ating range or element that's 400. Now, uh, this is not a function anymore kasi kung mapapansin nyo, may naulit sa ating domain. Meron kang input na 3, pero yung value niyan, yung output niyan ay 300 and 400. So, that is not a function. Not a function. Okay? So, I hope na naiintindihan ko ano yung function. Okay, now let's have another one. Let's have an example. Uh, let's say we have a uh, relation 0, 1, 2, 4, 0, 8. Uh, let's say 2, 6. Is this a function or not? So, let's look at the domain. So, ang domain niya ay 0, 2, 0, 2. Mm, may naulit no? sa ating domain. So, therefore, this is not, not a function. So, this is simply a relation. Hindi siya function. But, it is a relation. Now, let's have another one. Let's say we have uh, 5, 1, negative 5, 6, we have 3, 9. So, tingnan mo ang ating domain. We have 5, negative 5, 3. May naulit ba? Wala. Kasi 5 and negative 5, magkaibang quantity yan, magkaibang number. So, kung walang naulit sa ating domain, that is a function. Every input, there is exactly one output. That's function. Okay? Uh, I give another example. Let's say we have uh, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, uh, let's say 4 and 4. Is this a function or not function? Hmm. Baka sabihin mo, eh, not function yan, may paulit-ulit. Pa no? Tingnan natin, no? we have 1, 2, 3, 4. May naulit ba sa domain? Wala. So, therefore, kung wala namang naulit sa domain, that's still a function. Now, uh, let's have this one. Let's say 0, 1, 1, 1. Let's say 2, 1. Okay, is this a function or not function? Ha, huh. sabihin mo, eh, pa may naulit yung 1 eh, no? 1, 1, 1. But actually, hindi natin tinitingnan yung range kung naulit, no? Titingnan lang natin yung domain. Eh, wala namang naulit sa domain eh. We have 0, 1, 2. So, walang naulit dyan. So, therefore, this is still a function. Okay? So, that is how to identify a function given yung set of ordered pairs. Okay, now, how about ko ang given, uh, let's say yung x natin, uh, it represents yung, your height. Okay, your height. Then, your y, or the output, uh, your y or the output is the weight. Okay. Let's identify kung ito ay function or not function. Okay, let's say for example, yung height ng isang student, let's say 160 centimeters, then yung kanyang weight, let's say 50 kilos. Is it possible na merong isang estudyante na may height na 160, tapos ang, ang weight niya ay 60 kilos? Is it possible? Diba? Let's say 160, yung, yung kanyang height, centimeters, yung kanyang height, and 50 kilos siya. Then, there is another student, student P. Yung height niya din ay 160, pero yung weight niya ay 60 kilos. Is it possible? Yes. 
it is possible. So kung posible yan, meron tayong naulit sa ating domain. Okay? This situation is not a function. Okay? Now, let's say, for example, uh, your our x or the input, ito yung tricycle. Then, yung y naman, this is the plate number. Let's identify if this represents a function or not function. Okay, now, let's say we have tricycle A, then yung plate number niya ay A, B, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it possible na the same, no? The same yung tricycle. Let's say yung tricycle A na yon, meron siyang ibang plate number. Let's say x, y, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it possible? Possibly kaya yan na yung isang tricycle na yan, merong dalawang value or dalawang plate number? I don't think so. Kasi bawat isang tricycle, dapat iisa o bawat isang sasakyan, meron lang iisang plate number. Hindi ba? So, hindi po pwede ito. So, it cannot be. Hindi po pwedeng mangyari ito. Hindi pwede. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng maulit itong ating domain. So, kung hindi pwedeng maulit ang domain, this is a function. Now, how about if the given is graph? Now, let's say, for example, uh, we have this graph. We have the Cartesian plane. Let's say, yung graph ng ating Cartesian plane, pa ganyan. Let's identify if this is function or not. Uh, let's have another graph. Let's have this. Okay, let's have our, let's say our graph is like this. Yan. Paganyan yung graph niya. Meron tayong tinatawag na vertical, vertical line test. Okay, pag sinabing vertical line, patay yung line. Kapag nag-draw daw tayo ng vertical line sa ating graph, this is our graph. This is our graph. Pag nag-draw tayo ng vertical line dyan, kapag dumaan sa graph ng isang beses, that's a function. Pero kung ang vertical line dumaan sa graph ng dalawa, or higit pa, or higit sa isang beses, that's not a function. Okay, okay so mag-draw tayo ng vertical line dyan. Okay, let's say dito, kahit saan dyan sa graph. Ilang beses siya dumaan sa graph natin? Isang beses lang. Yan lang. Diyan lang siya dumaan, no? So, therefore, kung isang beses lang siya dumaan, that is a function. Now, how about this graph? If we draw a graph kahit saan dito sa ating graph, no? Yan. Ilang beses siyang dumaan? One, two. So, dalawang beses. Pag dalawang beses na siyang dumaan sa ating graph, that is not a function. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's have another example. Let's say we have a graph. Ang graph natin ay, let's say, pag ganito ang graph natin, yan. Is this a function or not? Mm, Mag-draw tayo ng vertical line dyan. Oops, ilang beses siya dumaan. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. More than 1. So, pag more than 1 dumaan, automatic, that is not a function. Okay? Now, let's have our last example. Yung graph natin ay pag ganito. Is this a function or not function? So, pag nag-draw tayo ng vertical line, ay, vertical line dito, ilang beses siya dumaan? Isa lang. Okay, doon lang. So, this is a function. Okay?